Welcome back to the Farm Life Outfitters hey. channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Adam. And it's day 22. I think so. Yep. Of No Spin November. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been asking us a lot <laughs> about how we're doing with No Spin November. Um, how would you say we're doing? Pretty good. Yeah. I think we figured up yesterday we spent about 80 bucks. Yeah. All month. And 50 of that was dance, and 15 of that was horseback riding lessons. Mm -hmm. And what else did we buy? Uh, we bought a little, some little small brackets for the high tunnel. Yeah, in Spanish <coughs> one time. Yeah, in Spanish, right. But yesterday they had Spanish, and we actually bartered with her yesterday, yep. so we didn't have to spend any mm -hmm. money. We traded a chicken for a Spanish lesson. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're doing really well. We've done quite a bit of bartering this month, haven't we? Mm-hmm. We just traded um, some meat for a painting. Yeah. That was, that was interesting. Yeah. It was a really great painting. Yeah. That we got. I can't wait to show you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you did a job for gas. Yeah, I traded a plumbing repair oh. for a tank of gas for the van. Well, we had oh. like 30 miles oh. to go. <laughs> that day, getting, I think, yeah. Yeah, that was like, that was several days ago. Yeah, it was one day this week, <clears throat> Tuesday maybe. Had 30 miles left to go in our gas tank, and so one of my friends called me and needed some help doing some plumbing, and so I traded uh, uh, repair for a tank of gas. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right on time. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what else? We traded a, a tractor lesson, a tractor driving lesson for yes. a bag of chicken uh, feed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they also brought some bananas for the kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we traded a, a a few days of film crew <laughs> for a cooler of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Yep. I hadn't really thought about that. Mm -hmm. um, that wasn't really a trade. That was more of a gift. For that them. was more yeah. of a gift. Yeah. Um, it has been an interesting week. It hasn't has. It? We've been super busy. So let's fill them in on what's what's been happening. Yeah, so we had a, a couple, um, Todd and Marsha, I think it's Todd and Shabble. Shabble, mm -hmm. Todd and Marsha dot com. But they, um, he quit uh. his job, his corporate job, and they bought an RV and sold everything. And um, uh. we'll probably sold everything and then bought an RV. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. um, but anyway, they're traveling around the country, touring farms and helping out, uh, helping farms and um, trying to figure out what they like and don't like and um, you know they hope to have a farm of their own one day and so mm -hmm. they're that's what they're working toward that's their goal so we can't really tell you too much um, about it yet but uh, we will be sharing with you guys when we are able to share um, about why there was a film crew at our house all week and that was quite an interesting experience you know, I thought it was pretty educational. It was it was a mm. good learning um, experience for us and for the kids, and it gave us a chance to be hospitable. Oh, good play, good play. You need something? Uh, Can you baby? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, nice. Yeah, they were the film company was here for our guest. It was it was um, uh, something about their camper. So. Yeah. Uh, so um, we just provided the scenery. Yeah, we provided the location, and uh, you know, hopefully, we'll see get some very beautiful pictures and video mm -hmm. out of it. Um, uh, yeah, it was just an interesting experience. It mm -hmm. was kind of like it, it. It made me think this is like what reality TV, yeah, uh, stars <laughs> go through um, with the whole like. Wait a minute, can you do that again? Can you pick up that thing again and try it again? Yeah. And I mean, they were they were basically just following us around doing what we normally do, but it took like five times as long because yeah. they, you know, we would have to, they couldn't get a good angle on something or the lighting was different or they, you know. That, that kind of thing so we had to keep doing them over and over again different scenes and stuff and um so it was really neat i, I mean we've never experienced anything like that before and um we were honored that they chose us to do it 
with and um, can't wait to see the final results. So, but uh, we just so said- So how, how, how are you inspired this week? Were you inspired in any way Ins by the week? Inspired. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, as far as Todd and Marsha go, I mean, they were, it's inspirational to us to see other people kind of like doing kind of like what we're doing, just leaving it all behind, mm -hmm. making each other priority <clears throat> and holding on tight and, um, and making a new life. And, and they were very encouraging to us to, you know, about <clears throat> the way that we're raising our family. They don't have children yet and they were they were very I, I thought they were very encouraging to us about our family life and how how we're teaching our kids and stuff like that and that just meant a lot to me. Yeah. Um cuz you know yeah, it's something you don't really think about a lot when yeah. you're in the middle of it, but then you have someone from the outside looking in who yeah. do, who doesn't know anything about you. Yeah. It's nice and, to hear what say, they have to say. Say like, you know, you are doing something <clears throat> special that just means a lot yeah because it's just it's just what we do to us and we feel like we fail a lot and mm -hmm. we do fail a lot but yeah like every day yeah <laughs> but to hear someone else say like you know we want to kind of model when we have a family yeah like what you're doing that's really that's really special that meant that probably meant the most to me of anything this week so so how did that inspire you <laughs> Um, I, well, really, it, I guess it inspired me to kind of share more about that because, mm. you know, uh, Marsha even said something to Adam about we should write a parenting book, you know, and I've never thought of anything like that before and um, don't really feel worthy of that. But, but the fact that people, outsiders are coming in and saying, like, you know, you need to be showing people this or, you know, people need to know about this, then... I think that inspires me to want to do that more. Hmm. Even if we feel like we've got nothing to give to to be able to to share that more what we're what we're doing or what you know what God's leading us to do and how he's leading us to talk with our kids and stuff like that like yeah maybe maybe people do want to know that. Mhm. Mm so I think it's good. Yeah. What about you? Um I think I was inspired to figure out how to get people here more often. Yeah. You know, mm -mm. It was, it's nice to have, um, it's, I don't know, it's nice to have help um, doing things and it's nice to have different perspective mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we all don't know everything and so it's really nice to have someone come in and, and you, someone you can ask their opinion and, you know, get eh. advice and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I think I would really like to figure out how to, um, I don't know, maybe have an intern program or... Yeah, we were talking about that this morning. You know, just a, a couple days stay for people in campers or something, you know, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, they were very helpful while they were here yeah. for us. They gave Adam a little break from milking and um, helped him with the high tunnel and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then, you know, they kept going on and on about how much we provided for them, mm -hmm. like information and just inspiration and stuff. So yeah. I think it's a win-win when you can host people and like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was nice. It was mm -hmm. a nice time. We had a nice, a nice busy week. Yeah. So we apologize for not <laughs> being more active on YouTube. But, yeah, we've um, gotten so many messages and comments and emails. Are y'all okay? Like, yeah. do we need to send help? You know, yeah. <laughs> is the No Spin November not going well? Yeah. Or y'all, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm thinking some people are like, man, y'all are starving or something, but mm -hmm. we're good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we appreciate for your... <laughs> all, the, all the support. Yeah. It's been nice. And I'm, I'm so surprised that so many people have said they're doing this along with us or they're trying to do this along with yeah. us as much as possible. And I think, like, that means a lot to us yeah. <laughs> yeah that means a lot to us that we're able to um inspire other people to try to spend less money for sure mm -hmm. it's been good what do we have one more week left yep really yeah when's the end of the month uh next sunday isn't it 
I guess mm, next Sunday, uh, next well, Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. we have um, eight more days left. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think we, I think we can make it. Yeah. Do you think we can make it without spending any more money, or do you think we'll spend a little more money? Um, somewhere? I don't foresee needing to spend any more money. I think we have enough gas to make it another week. Yeah. Um, I mean, our food, food's going to be a little interesting. We have plenty of meat. Yes. We, we had our last chicken butcher on, on last Saturday, and we butchered a pig a few days ago. And I guess that's it, isn't it? Yeah. But freezer's getting full, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Fresh sausage. Man, <laughs> it's hard to beat fresh sausage. Yeah, that's true. It's really tasty. That's what we have for breakfast is so good. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, do we have um, some scenes? Yeah, I mean, I, we filmed butchering the pig, and we filmed uh, working on the high tunnel, and um, both of those. It was nice to have help. You yeah. know, I was, they they had never butchered a, an animal like that, and so you know, taking my time and showing them how to do it and what what is what, and here's what you do if you want this and the different cuts, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. I enjoy that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Working on the high tunnel, they probably saved me a couple days labor out there. Because the, the point I was at, it was it was, it was a three-person job. And I was trying to do it by myself. <laughs> so having their help yesterday really saved me at least two days labor. Yeah. So that was nice. Yeah. And, you know, it was so nice to have help. And it was, it was nice. I was telling them... We actually um, talked about it on our podcast this week that'll be out tomorrow, Monday, which is probably when this video will be out. Um, so if you haven't heard about our podcast, it's the Hard at Home podcast um, by Farm Life Outfitters, and you can find it anywhere you get podcasts. Um, but we were talking to them about how, um, like, you know, it was nice to have help and everything this week, but it was even nicer to, you know, build relationships and um, it, it built my confidence in hosting people because I don't feel like I'm very hospitable. I feel like that's Adam's gifting. He's always been more gifted in that and wanted people over, wanted to cook for people and that kind of thing. And that's a struggle for me, um, but it's something that I really feel convicted about, so I want to... I want to practice it more and so I feel like this week kind of increased my confidence in that a little bit um, but yeah I'm just thankful um, mm -hmm. it's like you know we're talking to you guys on YouTube and we were just talking to them this morning about how YouTube has probably been our number one relationship builder yeah. with our business and because we I mean we would not have met them without YouTube we would not have met several of our very close friends without YouTube mm -hmm. and um, so yeah, we're very thankful yeah it's well worth it yeah. way, way more than any financial gain we've we've received which hasn't been much well, you know? right <laughs> but, um, the, yeah the relationship aspect of it people we've met uh, has been awesome yeah mm -hmm. we were just kind of like you know we get kind of bogged down with social media I know the world's kind of like yeah in chaos right now and social media just feeds that a lot of times mm -hmm. and Adam was like we should just get rid of everything you know and I'm just like no it's like yeah. we've we've been given so much by this um, yeah so much community from this one platform so we can't give it up mm -hmm. <laughs> I could <laughs> no <laughs> sometimes I could I could get rid of my phone and yeah everything not have internet you know just yeah work with our neighbors yeah and so we, we try to do a little bit of both. There may come a day, but... Yeah, that's true. It's possible. But for now, we're enjoying the community that we're, we're being brought. Yeah. And we're be, being able to give through, through YouTube. <laughs> so I know you guys have been uh, enjoying our frugal tips. And uh, today's tip is about your heating and cooling. So um, heating with wood is a way to save quite a bit of money, especially if you have access to firewood. You know, I don't know that you would save that much or that we would save that much if we had to buy firewood. Mm -hmm. But if you have access to firewood and the ability to cut it and split it and all that, 
then heating with wood definitely saves a lot of money. Um, I think our power bill drops to less than $100 a month in the winter. Mm -hmm. I've seen it as low as 70 bucks, I think. And then um, in the summer, a way to reduce your cooling cost is um, plant some trees like this huge tree. Where is it? Right here. My dad planted that and it shades the house until probably two o'clock. So most mornings in the summer, we don't run the air conditioner until the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, you know, plant trees on the south side of the house to shade the house in the summer. And also um, have an attic fan installed. You know, it's worth the cost of installation to have an attic fan. So we open the windows in the mornings and turn the attic fan on and it sucks in all the cool air and we shut, shut it off and close the windows and that really keeps the house cool all morning, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those two things, heating and cooling. Mm -hmm. Just some ideas on saving money there. Yeah. I remember at the other house and uh, we would section off the house with quilts and, yeah. you know, I don't know. I just remember us, we basically lived in the room where the wood stove was during mm -hmm. the winter time mm -hmm. and closed off the rest of the house. All right, I think that's all we have for today, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye.